Hi guys, Nick Miller today from Merck Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2005 Caterpillar TH460B uh, telescopic forklift. This unit is a one owner machine. I had the mate to it about a year and a half ago. He traded on another machine. I got it off the dealer and traded it. Uh, we sold it up to a customer, actually a farmer up in New York bought it. And matter of fact, Matt, we need to call him. He said to call whenever this one become available. Took some time to get his other new machine and we finally just got this machine in our possession. We just serviced it, went all through it. It is an all original paint machine. It has 4,400 and 24 hours, I believe is what's on it. Uh, I call it a 9,000 pound lift. If you want to get technical, I guess they call it an 8,800 pound lift, depending on what spec sheet you read. It is 44 foot of telescopic boom. I think it's 30 foot of um, forward reach. It is frame level, all wheel steer, crab steer, front axle steer. And CAD has a really neat feature on this. So if you all wheel steer and you want to go into another mode, it won't change that mode till you come, all the wheels come back to center and then it allows you to go into that other mode, but it also keeps your wheels lined up for you, which is really cool. You don't have to auto or kind of fool with them like the JOG does. So powered by a four cylinder, 99 horsepower. This is going to be a Perkins, uh, which says cat. It's a 3054, start here on the inch compartment. 3054 engines, 99.9 .9 horsepower, so just a 100 horse motor. There is no admissions on this machine. Zero admissions, no DEF, no DEF, no urea, no, which I think I said that three times, but I'm just getting that out there. No um, DPF, so uh, non-emissions machine. We have done a complete full service. All filter rules have been changed. This unit is cabin heat. It is very clean in the engine compartment. Uh, there's no abnormal smoke noise, blow by, anything of that nature. Uh, pretty cool how they drive the alternator off the transmission end of this, which is pretty neat how they set this up. Radiators up here, dual batteries, master switches here. Hood's not all busted up. Hood goes down, it latches. Um, fiberglass panels are not all busted up. Rubber's gonna be about 75%. All tires are matched. There was a panel missing right here. We had to get one made for it. Something had been taken off and must have been misplaced. But all the paint is original on the machine. And they are 1424s. Fuel tank, everything's in underneath here. Hydraulic oil. Checked all the planetaries. Up front, 48 inch wide carriage to 48 inch forks. It is power quick touch. It does have an extra set of auxiliary hydraulics on the boom, and it does have on this side a 14 pin. I shouldn't speak there. It may be an eight. It is a 14. 14 series pin plug out on the front. So if you needed to power something with an extra valve, it has that ability. Boom is really nice and straight. There's no abs absolutely no aftermarket welding, brakes, anything like that, any boom structure, anything like that. It does have screening on the glass top. This window had been replaced at one time with a piece of lac sand. This front and rear window, we did not change it. The frame is still good. The top, let's see how this works. There we go. Latches, the inside door is still in good shape. We'll take you inside. Floor panel is really nice. Cab's not rusted out. Everything is good and solid. This thing wasn't in the salt. Nothing is rusted up. Cigarette lighter plug, data port, park brake. Still has the original cat seat in it. Locking diff. Coming up here, joystick control. So up and down for your boom. Tilt on your forks, auxiliary hydraulics. Over here, turn it on here. Could be for your heater fan. Does have cabin heat. Does not have, it's a rag ahead. Does not have um, AC. So here's all your wipers, um, washer stuff, headlights. Uh, that's a lock. Coming over here, you're gonna have your transmission display. So you can go forward, reverse, through all your gears. 44.22 on the hours, indicator lights, frame level, steering selection. This is the lock and unlock your hyd hydraulics. So, um, machine does, it runs and works very well. Horn works, you see down here at the pedals. Um, very good running working machine, even the dome light works. So, does have a spot down here for a radio. Turn the camera back over to Matt. This is not a brand new machine, but it is a very good running and working machine.
have it. 2005 Caterpillar TH460B telehandler. That is a very good running working machine. Very happy to have it. It is all three function steers, IT hookup, power quick attach out front, auxiliaries on the boom, 14 pin, cabin heat, winter's coming. I do not have a bucket for it. I wish I did. If I did, I'd have it advertised with it. Uh, I'm sure you can find one out there. I do believe that shares the same IT as an IT, like a 420 backhoe style IT. Uh, hook up, four wheel drive, excellent brakes, parking brake works. Everything functions on this machine. We have found no issues with it. There's no oil leaks. We did change all the fillers and oils. It is a very good running working machine. If you want to come by and check it out yourself in person, I have nothing to hide. Uh, come run it. I, again, I can't be any more honest than I'm being. So, other than those two windows had been replaced sometime with some lex sand uh, or plexiglass. So, any questions, 814 658 3066. Please check our website, see all the photos. We take usually 100 photos of these machines. Um, check it out. If you have any questions, 814-658-3066. As always, thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.